What's up guys, it is the T-Ball and I'm back with another video. So today I'm going to be going for why the Golden State Warriors will not win the NBA championship. So before I start, if you want to see more daily NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe as I really do appreciate all the support. So the Warriors were embarrassed on Christmas Day against the Lakers when LeBron James was injured midway in the game and the Warriors still lost to LA by a score of 127 to 101. Some will say this was a fluke game, but at this point, I really do not think it is. Golden State has struggled for quite a long time now that it really just cannot be written off and it doesn't look like their problems are just temporary. Klay Thompson forgot how to shoot, the bench is unbelievably weak, and the Warriors are just getting destroyed by centers like Ivica Zubak. While all of these are serious problems, none of them are bigger than what has happened to Draymond Green. Green has completely looked like a train wreck this season. From his beef with Kevin Durant to poor play on the court, it's looking harder and harder for him to get that max contract that he wants. But to focus on the now, Green has been so bad shooting the ball that he is reaching Tony Allen levels of bad. Draymond Green is shooting 22.4% from 3 this season, and the fences are giving him zero respect. Let's take a look at a few plays from the Warriors vs Lakers game, and I'll show a couple picks but cannot do clips due to copyright reasons. Here, LeBron is not even bothering to go out to the perimeter to contest Green's shot. He's making the smart decision to stay with Durant, who is the bigger scoring threat and leaving Zubak with Durant is a mismatch waiting to happen. Next, it looks like Zubak is making a half-hearted attempt to go out to Green, which he really shouldn't, and the spacing here shows how little defenses care to guard up to Draymond Green on his 3-point shots. In this play, Chandler flat out dares Green to shoot the 3, as Chandler knows that Green is a very poor 3-point shooter guarded or not, and it is better for him to defend the paint in case Green drives, or passes it out to another Warriors player, who may drive as well. Finally, in this play, Green has just an insane amount of space to shoot, and again, no one respects Green's shot and they're just daring him to shoot. Draymond Green's lack of shot has led to defenses either packing the paint, or doubling on some of the other Warriors threats, like Curry and Durant. I'm not mentioning Thompson because he has faced a ton of problems as well, and I'll likely make a separate vid on him later if you guys want to see that. But Draymond Green is a huge problem for the Warriors, as his inability to shoot has led to the paint becoming clogged, and less open shots for Curry and Durant. All these factors have led to the Warriors offense starting to get stagnant and slow down. The Warriors are not the same high powered scoring team that they once were, and they simply don't look like the best team in the NBA anymore. That title looks like it should be given to the Raptors at this point, who actually defeated the Warriors earlier this season without Kawhi Leonard. The irony in all of this is that the Warriors used the same exact sagging tactic on Tony Allen back in the 2015 NBA playoffs that helped change the course of the series as the Warriors were able to come back from being down 2-1 and defeat the Grizzlies in 6 games after the adjustment. Now the tables are turned, and teams are doing this to the Warriors except this time, it's focused on Draymond Green. The million dollar question now is if Draymond Green will be able to fix his shot. And I'm leaning towards no, or at least not that much. Green in his career is actually a poor 3-point shooter, as while he shot 38.8% from 3 during the 2015-16 NBA season, People don't remember that in his other 6 seasons, he has never shot over 33.7% from beyond the arc. That one season where he shot over 38% from 3 looks like an aberration, and I would not put any money on Green being able to get back to that level. Maybe he can get his shooting back up to about 28-30% from 3, but that's about it. And of course, that is not enough for him to be a real threat, and the fences will be able to continue to sag off of him. It's not looking good for Green and the Warriors, and I think this may be the beginning of the end of their dynasty. So, that's a wrap. Thanks guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more daily NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe, and also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on when my newest video will be coming out. Also, follow me on Instagram and hit me up if you want to talk about basketball, business, or have any video ideas you made to do. Let me know as I do try to take back to all you guys there. Drop a comment down below if you think Draymond Green and the Warriors can fix their problems. Let me know as I do read all comments. I'm definitely interested to see what you guys have to say. So, with all that being said, once again, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys soon for my next video. Peace.